Douglas McNeil. He's an equity analyst at Charles Stanley Securities. Douglas, thanks for coming in. Uh, and so we're seeing 77%. They've fallen 77% in London trading today. But this isn't the first major fall this year, is it? Because we've had a string of profit warnings from Thomas Cook. We have indeed. It's been a very challenged company this year. And the thing is that so far, most of the problems have arisen out of the UK division. The European divisions seem to be holding up pretty well. And they account for a pretty large proportion of the company's earnings. Mm -hmm. Only about a third of the earnings comes from the United Kingdom. Now it seems that that weakness is, is spreading into the European operations as well, particularly France, where business is clearly very weak. So that's the thing that's been holding the company up. That's been the prop, and now that prop is being removed. So what are the implications for the outlook? Well, I think things are going to be pretty tough for the next little while. Uh, the big key test coming up is the 31st of December covenant test, uh, when they have to demonstrate that they are in compliance with their banking covenants. And from this morning's statements, there's a clear risk that that won't be the case. Uh, now, if they are in breach, I think that uh, they'll be able to get away with it. I think that in return for a suitable fee, the banks will be willing to make some extra liquidity available. And then next year, things may get a bit easier, because next year the company won't be paying a dividend. This year it has done, but that has now been asked. And that will save about £90 million pounds of cash next year. So that's quite a big help. So other options that are available to them, Douglas? Well, one option being uh, talked about in the market is a rights issue. Um, I say being talked about. It has been talked about. I'm not sure that it's now an option that they can really pursue because the market cap is down to around about the £150 million pound level. So even if they were able to raise that much money again, it wouldn't go that far to making a, a, a real dent in the, in the, in the debt pile. All right. Uh, what about their competitors? No doubt they will take advantage of the situation to grab market share. Mm. Yes, the competitors do seem to be making uh, a better fist of things this year than Thomas Cook, it has to be said. So, 2E Travel um, has had a, a reasonable year. It, it's been affected by the same issues, but not to nearly the same extent. Kony in Switzerland um, has been having a, a pretty decent time of things as well, uh, under a newish chief executive. Mm. So, um, they, are, they are also affected by these things, but they are coping better. It, it sounds rather like you're optimistic on Thomas Cook long term, aren't you? But when you look at the sort of potential headwinds facing this company, uh, they've suffered from unrest in the Middle East and you know, key markets like Tunisia and Egypt, we were just mentioning it there. And then, of course, you have uh, the prospect of recession here in Europe, which could dampen demand over 2012. So it is, where is your optimism coming from? Well, I think in the first place it is a great brand, despite everything. Um, and that's a, a mark in its favour. Secondly, I think that reports of the death of the, the package to a business uh, are much exaggerated. I think mm. that for consumers, it still offers a great deal of convenience, a great deal of time saving. It also offers an insurance element. If things go wrong with your holiday, uh, then your tour operator will get you out of trouble in a way that isn't available to you if you've booked uh, uh, on, on, on your own account. In that case, uh, you're left to your own devices to, to get home when there's been a volcanic ash uh, eruption, for instance. Um, so those are some of the things that make me think that there is a future for the package tour business, um, but uh, clearly for some tour operators, it's going to be it's going to be harder work than others. And Thomas Cook has a lot of, of, of tough work ahead of it. Douglas McNeil, equity analyst from Charles Stanley Securities. Thanks very much for joining us.